wide and varied range of businesses make use of Cadasso's capabilities, often to create interactive 3D assembly instructions. Whilst we see all sorts of great products, recently a number of furniture designers have been in touch. The team here have all worked at either CAD software developers such as Autodesk and SolarWorks or at CAD resellers, and after recent discussions with some of our users, we thought it'd be valuable to share some of our top tips that we've picked up along the way, starting with a few quickfire tips for furniture design in SolidWorks. There are a number of different modeling techniques in SolidWorks, but often with furniture design, the multi-body approach is the most powerful and efficient as it allows you to control nearly all aspects of your design from a single part file. Multi-body designs allow multiple bodies to exist in a single part file. The benefit of this is that parts are designed around one another, with overall dimensions shared and easily used to drive the entire design. This can avoid problems with items not fitting together as expected in assemblies, and avoids toggling between multiple part files when a change is needed. By default, SolarWorks will try and merge all features together. One way to stop this is by unticking the Merge Results box when adding a new additive feature. But a good tip despite us not necessarily doing any weldments, is to click the weldments feature. This sets the default behavior for the file to not merge and also adds some extra benefits. Modeling panels is as simple as creating extrusions from sketches. You can also quickly populate material for items that are cut from length using the weldment structural member tool. This allows you to send custom profiles down a sketch line to create frameworks and moldings. With furniture created from panels, standard thicknesses are often used across the design, but these may change depending on material availability, quality and price point. Being able to change these sheet thicknesses quickly can be achieved by using global variables. Global variables allow multiple dimensions to be linked together, and if one dimension changes, they all do. Create a global variable from either within the dimension dialog by entering a name and value, or by browsing the equations dialog. A cut list is automatically created when working within multibodies, providing the weldment features have been enabled. Cut lists are great for anything that comes in length or sheet material. To see all of the available cut list information, make sure to create a bounding box for the relevant panel cut list items. This will then bring through width, height and thickness values. You can also get the cut length automatically for bodies created using the structural member tool. With furniture designs, you may often find yourself repeating the same features or adding the same stock items to every design. Library features and smart features can really help speed up the process. For example, a library feature allows for predefined features to be added to your model with a simple drag and drop, such as this pattern of cuts, removing the need to manually create these features over and over again. Smart features are similar, but they bring parts into the assembly environment, such as the hinge, bracket or handle, and can also play secondary parts as well as other features, such as location holes. Often, furniture is available in a variety of heights, width and depths, with the underlying design being exactly the same. This is where configurations can help. Configurations allow multiple design pathways to exist in a single file. Dimensions can be modified across configurations, as well as the suppression or unsuppression of features. Laying out a 2D drawing from a multi-body part file is just the same as any other SOLIDWORKS part or assembly file. There are some extra options that can be used though, if you want to show individual bodies from the multi-body part file. The first is simply using the Selected Bodies button to isolate specific bodies within a view. If you also need to change the orientation of a body, the Relative to Model option can also be used to reorientate a specific body or bodies. All the cut list information can be shown in the 2D drawing as well. Simply choose cut list from the tables drop down to add it in. Extra columns can be added to show additional cut list information such as thicknesses and board dimensions. 
And that's it. Hopefully you found this short video useful and now have a few additional tools available to improve and speed up your furniture modeling within SOLIDWORKS. Don't forget for your instruction manuals, Cadasio is a great solution that allows you to create 2D and 3D interactive manuals online. There's even an add-in that sits directly within SOLIDWORKS. It couldn't be any easier. If you like this video, please don't forget to follow us on all your favorite social media platforms.